Hey guys, so here's a short story time while I'm on my way to drop something off to my ex. Um, so I just came back from the allergist. Um, I have like so many allergies to nuts, like outdoors, mold, like basically anything you can imagine because I'm allergic to nuts. I'm allergic to peaches and blueberries and green beans just out of nowhere. I never had those allergies before. I used to love Nutella and then all of a sudden I was severely allergic. Um, so um, back in March, I was at my mom's house and I was putting some oil into my hair like tea tree and coconut mix. Um, and then all of a sudden like my head was just getting so itchy I started scratching and then I got hives all over like the hives were on my face on my neck my arms my stomach like it was So crazy and gross how it looked Then I go downstairs and I'm like looking in the mirror my face starts like getting swollen my lips start getting swollen I'm like what is going on? Then all of a sudden my tongue just swelled up like completely swelled up I could barely talk and then you know all the signs of anaphylaxis could barely breathe like everything was just happening so fast um, the only other thing that I did that day was smoke weed now beforehand I used to get hives not used to like nowadays like I do get hives when I smoke weed sometimes not all the time um, but this week I was doing edibles um, as well so I guess my body was just overloaded with weed right so first I thought it was the tea tree oil because that was like literally the only thing and I smoke weed every single day so I'm just like it has to be this but I had just used the oil like two days prior so it just didn't make sense like how could I be allergic when I literally just put this in my hair two days before and then I was thinking like how could it be the weed when okay fine I sneeze sometimes or I get hives sometimes but Am I like deathly allergic? So I talked to the allergist on the phone because they were closed obviously because of COVID. Um, and she was just like, you know, like stay away from it and whatever. And since that reaction, I did smoke like once or twice, but then I had noticed like I was still sneezing and stuff. And then I like my whole body was getting hot and that's like what happened when I had the reaction. So I stopped smoking because I'm like, yo, like am I not trying to kill myself? Like, you know? So finally, I was able to get an appointment allergist today and she did the prick test and I'll show you a picture. So they do, they prick you three times. They prick you with a negative thing, like to show if you don't have a reaction, this is how it won't look or whatever, you know, and then they do a positive one and then they do the actual allergen. So my hive from the weed got bigger than the, even the positive one. So now it is confirmed, like I'm 100% severely allergic to weed, even though I've been a weed smoker for like 12 years, like literally, you know, smoking every day. Well, maybe not smoking every day for 12 years. I've obviously taken breaks and stuff, but yeah, I've been a weed smoker for like a very long time and now I can't even like touch it. Like if I touch it, I get itchy. Like if I smell it, it's fine if my friends are smoking or whatever. But I also don't like just sit up in their faces when they're smoking because like that's still getting into my system, right? So yeah, pretty crazy. Like I almost died that day. When I went to the hospital, they had to, like I called an ambulance and they had to, um, they gave me an IV of Benadryl and then like that didn't work with the Benadryl right in my bloodstream. So then they had to give me, they had to pump another, whatever you call it, of, of freaking Benadryl. I had to stab myself with my EpiPen for the first time. That was like the scariest thing when I was on the call with 911, like I was so nervous. She's like, just swing it in. I'm like, what do you mean just swing it in? Like that just sounds really scary but I did it and I survived it. Um, then when I went to the hospital, they gave me some steroids so that to help the swelling go down. So I was at the hospital for about four hours and then finally 
the swelling didn't really go down that much but it was down enough that they would know that it was down enough that they would know that it's gonna you know go away completely so yeah there's that severely allergic to weed can never smoke again kind of sad but like obviously i don't want to die so whatever um i'm gonna try to fix the brightness in this hopefully i can thanks for watching y'all